Yes, Alicia and Vic. In fact, though, he's already saying that that schedule may be a little longer than he originally planned today. Now, of course, mentally, there's no question the mayor is as sharp as ever. Physically, though, as it should be expected, he is a little thinner following his hospitalization. Now, as is his habit, he arrived at City Hall bright and early this morning, and it was greeted by the deputy mayor and several of his top aides. Uh, he only has one public thing on his schedule today, and that's where we are right at this moment. He left City Hall and came over here to the headquarters for a DDOT, uh, the bus service, and he had an announcement about the bus service. It's going to be going to uh, four routes every 15 minutes, and he also took a few moments just to bring us up to date. Thank God that uh, my health is getting better. It's holding up. And uh, I think in a short period of time, hopefully in the next two to four weeks, I'll be back at 100 percent. But um, maybe I'm not at 100 percent in health, but I surely know what's going on. Uh, the mayor was not prepared, though, to take any questions. In fact, he left before the news conference, the uh, nut, nuts and bolts of the news conference involving the four routes every 15 minutes were gone into in depth. We believe he's headed back over to the office. He said that he is going to probably end up staying at the office a little longer than he planned today. But it's good to see him, hear him. He, he is robust. Again, a little thinner, but who wouldn't be? Reporting live downtown, I'm Val Clark. Joanne, back to you. He didn't have much weight to lose, if any, I would say, Val. So we <laughs> hope he's eating to get those pounds back on and that he takes it easy the first couple days anyways. Val, thanks so much. Yes.